Joining me today to discuss industrial cybersecurity is Willie Nelson, CISO for Operational Technology at Fortinet. Welcome, Willie. Thank you, Sid. Thanks for having me. You know, one thing I like to talk when I interview people, um, I always like to start by getting an understanding of how, where you fit into industrial cybersecurity. There's lots of different solutions and products. So it's, I always want to give you everybody an opportunity to let me know where their products fit and what maybe what makes them different. So, Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, here at Fortinet, you know, we have invested uh, a, a great deal in operational technology. Um, we, the entire security stack, you know, we, we have for, for the for the uh, for the companies uh, to to develop and or uh, use in their organizations. But we've we've specialized a lot of our stuff into OT, uh, as well as you know the the ruggedized equipment that that has that comes with you know your your security, your encryption, uh, and and the other security or controls that you need uh, for uh, uh, for hardening your your environment. You know. Uh in light of there's a lot of attacks today on operational mm -hmm. technology, uh, you know, this is whether they're direct or indirect, you know, what kind of lessons can we take away from this to help companies defend themselves? It's a question I get asked a lot. And, and I, it's, it's, it's interesting. I see it as, as the answer to some extent is in the question. You know, it's, it's those lessons, right? Um, we've, we've got to prepare. We've, we've got to prepare in a way that you, um, you, you don't just think about the fact that, oh, it's going to happen. You need incident response plans. You need playbooks. Your executives need to know what they're responsible for and, and a comms plan for those executives. You need to know your regulatory requirements for reporting when, when, when something were to happen. And you need to practice it, and, and you, need, you need to really know it, not just have it written down. So those lessons are, you know, the, the idea of, not just, it's not going to be, you know, if, but when. Live that and, 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 and be ready for, for everything that's going to come. And what you're saying too is, well, I, I, the way I took what you just said is, it's nice, everybody should accept that they're going to have a problem, but, don't, but then do something. Don't just accept it, right. but act on it, right? Yeah, it's, and it's, it's going to happen. And, and it's going to be small, it could be big, accept it, but, be, but while you're accepting it, plan for it right right and right. and that plan is you know through assessments it, it's through checking your your technology make sure that you have the gaps uh filled where they should be and if and if you if you need to uh to make a make a change now's the time to change before before you have the incident you're trying to change during the incident you know as you look across industry um uh, and you talk to other security leaders what kind of indications do you get that they're taking cybersecurity more seriously now? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I, hopefully they are. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that you know, really, in the last five five to six years, we've had a we've had a huge change in, in, in OT, right? Uh, so, used to be separate teams. You know, the security was was that's IT's problem. OT was just to keep the business going and, and whatnot. Um, you have CISOs that are now leaning in, helping out. With uh, you know, with security, they're they're partnering with with the business to make sure it's secure. Uh, but I think more importantly, you've got a, you have boards asking questions and educating themselves. Uh, regulatory requirements are, are are you know are a necessity. A lot of times, it's what gets people attention. And right now, we've got we've got everybody's attention, and it's, and and I think that the between the boards educating themselves and and asking the right questions, and the CISOs leaning in. We're, we're heading in the right direction. You know, uh, at this conference, we're doing an awful lot around digital transformation. Mm -hmm. I talk about it all the time. And one thing I've seen is a lot of companies, uh, you know, they, they it, cybersecurity, they understand cybersecurity is important, but it's actually slow in the adoption of things that they would like to do. So I'm wondering what can Fortinet do or what does Fortinet do to help them kind of overcome this problem? Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, well, let's let's start with you know defining that digital transformation, right? So it's an easy one to, to think about from the standpoint of I, I use cloud adoption. It's one that everybody all right can get behind. Um, three years ago, probably as, as recent as three years ago, if you had a conversation with somebody and said, "Hey, we're going to move some of your OT into the cloud," the yeah. the, the gasp, the, are you, you're kidding me, right? Now it's 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 more accepted. But when you do that, you have to have the security controls in place to, to, to protect it. 
And that's where having the knowledge in OT, having the, the knowledge in, in you know, network and security and whatnot is where Fortinet really comes into play to, to help out, as well as our, you know, all our community of, of partners that allow you to put it all in, in, into one, one package. Great. Uh, you know, what do you see as the impact that we're also seeing things like uh, technologies like IoT, IIoT, 5G, all of those things are, what kind of impact is that having on architectures and things yeah, like that? Yeah, see that's, that's one of those that, I, I think so many companies look at it, it's like, you know, it, it's, it's there, they're not quite ready to, to grasp it. I say put it in your R&D environment, start playing with it. It makes the business, it makes, it makes things easier for the business. And because of that, it's going to get here before we're ready. It's going to be started being adopted before you're ready. So you have to start now. Get it into your, your, your labs, into your R&D environments. Start looking at security controls to, to put around it and, and prepare for it. Because like I said, it's, it's coming and you know, innovation is where, where it's at. So it's, it's great. Yeah, I, I have the same kind of uh, views. That I see the same way. Uh, what do you see as the future? What's the future hold for cybersecurity? <laughs> uh, you know, as we think about the, the needs of enterprises and things right. like that. Well, uh, you know, I've been, I've been in security many, many years. The gray hair is not <laughs> painted on, it, it's earned, right? Um, and and I, I try not to do the, the, the beginning of the year predictions, right? Because I, I'm, if, I, if I could predict it, you know, I could own the space. <laughs> um, however, there are some basics I think that we all should be just aware of. Resiliency is the, you know, it's, it's the buzzword, but it's, but it's something OT we've been doing a long time. We've really been focused in, 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 in resiliency and in, in the business. Continue that. Now start looking at your controls, um, looking at your partners. I had a, I had a very, um, one, of, one of the best leaders I've ever worked with told me once to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, fail fast, partner often. And to me, that's, that's, that's kind of the key, right? So you, you, you've got to understand what you, what you have, do your assessments, be truthful in your assessments to yourself, right? We often say, well, I, I, I check the box and move forward. Be truthful with your assessments. And then find those partners that you can, that you can partner with and that you, that you can trust and, and, and ask for help. Because we can't scale, as an organization, no matter who you are, you can't scale the, the breadth and the speed you need. You need partners. So fail fast, partner often. Well, Willie, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. I want to thank you for participating in this. Thanks for having me today. I really appreciate it. We've been speaking with Willie Nelson, who's the CISO for Operational Technology at Fortinet. Uh, thank you for watching.